Uber drivers, what's your horror story? Picked up a guy in the middle of the day from a bar, took him to a casino nearby. As soon I got on the freeway some lady started tailing me and constantly beeping at me. I freaked out a little and he said that might be my wife, don't worry she'll stop following soon. She followed us for the whole 20 minute ride, non-stop beeping. Once we got there, he practically jumped out of my car and ran for the door. She followed him in her car, almost hitting him. Last thing he said to me, don't ever get married. More like don't get married to the wrong person, or don't make stupid mistakes that piss your wife off. Former Uber driver here, decided to try my luck with Hollywood one night after the clubs closed. When I pull up to the pickup location a stream of people start poking their heads into my car to ask if this car was theirs. I finally find the girl and she opens my passenger door, tells me to wait because she needs to find the rest of her friends. I'm blocking traffic while she is calling for her friends loudly. She drags one girl into my back seat and returns to the still open front door and tells me more are coming. At this time the police pull up behind me and use their speaker to tell me to keep moving. I tell the girl to get in so I can go around the corner, she refuses and keeps yelling for her friends. The cops get out of their car and demand I move the car or face arrest slash ticketing. I tell them the girl won't let go of the door or get in. They start yelling at her and me now to get in or let go of the door. She tells them no and that she needs her friends. Cop moves her and closes the door. I pull away with her drunk friend and no idea where to take her. I circle the block a few times and can't find her again. I spent a good while trying to wake this girl and get an address. She finally gives me a rough idea of where she lives. I drive her there and find the rest of her crew standing outside of her place. I don't bother asking what happened, I just dump her off to her friends and go home. Never doing that again. I am an uber black driver. A few months back I picked up a man and woman in their 40s from a restaurant. They were clearly not having a good time, still arguing about something. Towards the end of the ride he punches her in the face as hard as he could. When we pull up at the destination he pulls out a knife and starts to threaten her and me. I tell him to take it outside and I drive away. I couldn't help but feel bad for that woman so I drove to the county sheriff department and told them what happened. Luckily the uber black cars have a camera inside that recorded the events. When the sheriff looked at the video he asked for the address and they arrested the guy. I also reported the incident to Uber, they called me and took a recorded statement by phone. I got way way too drunk, told the Uber to take me home. Woke up 4 hours later in my driveway, with my actual car 4 hours away at my hotel. How much dollar did the Uber ride cost you? His dignity. My boyfriend is a Lyft driver. He had a woman climb into his front seat and then the person he identified as the woman who had requested the lift hop in the back. The woman in the front immediately passed out. Turns out the woman who had requested the lift did not know this woman in the front. She was a prostitute who just climbed into my boyfriend's car because he sat waiting in her area long enough. Once he realized this woman was a stranger, he pulled over, woke her up and kicked her out. My two favorites, one my own the other my buddies. I come to my stop and after a long wait, just as I am about to leave the girl who asked for the Uber comes out of the bar. She flags me down and tells me two more are coming. Then I see her two friends, one is crying her eyes out and the other is consoling her. It turns out the girl crying was roofied and her friends found her before anything bad happened. The crazy part for me was that they dragged me in to try and help convince her that it wasn't her fault. I was totally fine to help, and I tried, but I was very unprepared to deal with this. I'm expecting people to throw up in my car not coach them through an existential crisis. My friend told me once about a guy he picked up, as a regular cab, not Uber, and took him out to the middle of nowhere. The guy kept pretending like he was lost or confused and kept making him drive around. My friend eventually got him to fess up that he was dicking with him and said he had no money. My friend leaves the guy in the middle of farmland outside the city. Flash forward two months and the same guy gets in his cab. My buddy remembered him so he took him to the stop in town the guy asked for. Once they stopped the asshole leaps out the car and runs away. My buddy thought ahead though, he positioned the car so the guy sort of had to go to the right when he bolted. My friend takes a quick shortcut, running not driving, and cuts him off. He broke a clipboard over the guy's face and then got him to pay for the far plus a $50 tip. My friend has been doing cabbing and Uber for 3 years now. He has a lot of stories. So I tend to turn the app on when I leave my regular job because I usually pick up a few people just needing rides to slash from work and so on. One night I closed so it was about 11 and I got a request. 
Passengers ended up wanting to be taken to a college town over the neighboring state line which was only like a 15 to 20 minute drive. Cool. No problem. Once I was out there though I was snapping up requests left and right from neighboring small towns getting surge prices. But it was creepy as hell because I basically spent my entire night driving through back roads picking up random people in a different state on narrow gravel country roads who the duck knows where. Not super weird but as a small female I had the I'm gonna get murdered in bum duck small town USA all because I wanted surge prices. By the end of it I was an hour from home. Buddy drives for Uber and he's told me some shit. He had two plastered chicks in his car, one puked on the other causing the other to spew. There was vom all over his BMW's leather seats. Uber paid for the damage and charged the girls though. Doesn't do Uber much anymore cause it's a hassle. BMW driving Uber driver. Does not compute on so many levels. One time someone put a blow up doll with 240's duct tape to the doll's hands in my passenger seat and said that the Uber was for her. He closed the door and I just drove me and the doll to the destination. Was there someone to meet the doll or did you just have to leave it on the sidewalk at the destination? Yay he sent me to his parents house. I rang the doorbell and gave it to his mom. I'm not an Uber driver, but I have multiple instances where people would just climb into my car thinking I'm an Uber driver when I pull next to someone. You don't lock your doors? You lock your doors? Well this is one of the few times I have something relevant to add so I apologize in advance for the lack of horror story. I had been driving for Uber for less than a week. It's Friday night slash Saturday morning and I've had a few fares but it was getting close to 3 AM so I thought to myself I'll give it 10 more minutes and I'll call it a night 9 minutes and 45 seconds later I have my phone in my hand to log off and a ride request comes through. Duck it I think to myself and I accept the ride. I was picking the guy up at an apartment complex only a few miles away from my own. As I'm turning onto his street he calls me and very drunkenly slurs hurry up my girlfriend is in the hospital I arrive at his complex and he wastes no time jumping in. The whole ride there he he's saying dude I'm gonna give you such a great tip. Thanks for coming man you're a great driver. I continuously tell him don't worry about tipping me just make sure your girlfriend is okay. To cut this story a little bit shorter I picked him up from said hospital and took him back to his complex on the way back he insists that I stop at an ATM he hops out and comes back slapping a wad of bills into my hand turned out to be $200 so I end up getting tipped $200 for what was a $14 fare so that was pretty damn cool. I'm an Uber driver and the worst I've had was a guy who was belligerent and entered in the wrong address. This was around 1am, and he told me to just drive and I'll tell you when to turn. We do circles for a bit around a neighborhood, then he says to stop here, then says not my house, but I can walk from here. I hope he made it home. I had a group of guys this past weekend ask if I had concealed carry. So the guy in the passenger seat turns on his phone light and scans me trying to find it. They weren't drunk, just curious. But I laughed. Lately, it's not even really worth going out, they raise the percent they take from each ride, and I barely make $1.15 slash hour. When you factor in gas, oil changes, idling time between fares, it's really not worth it to go out unless it's 2x surge. My friend is an Uber driver, he told me a horror story where two passengers he had, decided to give roadhead in the back seat. They also blew some of the load on the seat. Since then my friend has always used seat covers and floor covers. Blew some of the load. I must be incredibly lucky but I haven't actually had a bad experience with anyone that I've driven as an Uber driver. It ranges from people who never stop talking, to people who will say their name, once, upon picking them up. Haven't had anyone throw up in my car yet, pass out, or really anything else. Perhaps it's just a matter of time, but I've had something like 500 to 600 trips so far, and haven't had a bad rider. I could change that. Uber driver here. I have had one incident that scared me to the point where I almost kicked them out of my car. I accept a trip and head over to this house where four cholos, Hispanic thugs, hop in my car these dudes are wasted and all have beer cans in their hands as well as some beer boxes. This was red flag number one for me, now the guy in the passenger seat is a big fellow with a rude attitude very demanding and impolite. The whole ride is him smacking my chest and following with a full why you look so nervous or a fool just hurry the duck up already and his cousin telling him to shut up and stop being a dick, followed by the other two dudes just going full retard on Chicano ramp. At this point dude in passenger and his cousin are getting violent because the cousin kept defending me from him being a complete douche most of the ride. 
Finally we get to the city they wanted to party in but come to find out that the hotel room they booked was booked for the wrong day. So now here we are trying to figure out who's gonna give them a room on Valentine's weekend at 2 a.m. All while passenger is trying to find out where to get some cocaine. At this point I was irritated and was wanting to just leave them there and go home. But the cousin tipped me 40 bucks for putting up with everyone so I took them to the nearest strip club and called it good and went on my way. My first and last night driving for Uber. My first night driving was this last New Year's in LA. I dropped off a passenger at a corner by a ton of bars in downtown. As I drive off I randomly look to my left and see this kid sitting down on the curb zoning in and out of coherent consciousness trying to request a ride, surrounded by multiple bouncers outside of this club. I think to myself, that kid is going to puke. Nevertheless, my naive nature allowed me to quickly shrug off the thought of the likelihood of a reality I would soon face, foreshadowing. I continued to drive for a few blocks when I received my next request. Noticing the abnormally close proximity between my last fare and my next, I became a bit anxious. Lo and behold, that wasted kid was my next fare. I almost cancelled the trip, but greed beat logic and common sense, and fares were surging. As we begin the trip only a few locks up and around the street, he begins to dry heave and I pull over. Thankfully that was only the case. We arrive at the destination where he proceeds to tell me this isn't Bel Air. I tell him I only dropped him off at the address he imputed. He then offers me $200 cash if I took him home. Only a few minutes into our trip traveling 75 miles per hour on the 10 from DT to BA, the kid rolls the window down and sticks his head out of the window and pukes all over the entire passenger side of the car and a little on the inside of the door, not that bad. The kid lived all the way in the ass end of Bel Air, closer to the valley than Sunset Boulevard he opens his wallet to pay me. If you guess that this kid didn't have the money then you are correct. He slurs to me that his mom will pay me and to hold on. I grab his phone to make sure he comes back. Before he makes it out of the car, his mom comes out and starts shouting his name, which just so happened to be my name too. Instinctively I answer yes? Still not sure why. She tells him to get inside and then asks me to tell her everything that happened, as if this isn't her first rodeo. I tell her what our deal was and that he got sick everywhere. She sighs, rolls her eyes and nods her head as if this is nothing new. She goes inside and comes back out handing me $300 and apologizing profusely to me for her son's actions. I was quickly able to clean everything off thanks to a windshield brush at the gas station. I hit the road again, made a few more stops, then decided to accept one more thinking I would stay local. I get to this house in Beverly Hills and pick up this couple at 8.9 surge. Until I started the trip, I had no idea their destination was in Santa Ana, about 50 miles away. Their bill was $639. All in all, I made $870 after Uber's cut from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Uber keeps lowering their fares and giving promos which aren't worth it even if only driving a few hours a week. That's how I popped my cherry. Finally I just started about two weeks ago. Last week I picked up three guys one of them dressed to the nines in BDSM gear. So yeah gay BDSM 3 way definitely the top of the chart. Average day in San Francisco but not one in Honolulu. Oh well whatever makes them happy I'm not gonna judge what consenting adults do to each other. Uber driver here. My horror story was when one intoxicated passenger assaulted another intoxicated passenger in my vehicle. I told them to get the duck out. They complied. I called the cops. The victim didn't press charges. I may be a little late to this. But, it's a pretty good story. NSFW been driving for uber a few months now nothing too extremes just every other weekend or whenever i need a little bit of side money but anyway my first week driving i'm called out to this bar to pick up a couple they're super friendly ask me how i am and all the typical stuff but the longer they are there the more they start whispering and laughing to each other so curious to what's going on i casually glance in my rear view mirror to see what's going on quick note the man is behind me and the woman is behind the passenger seat. Well, she's giving him a hand job. Totally shocked and unnoticed, I put my eyes forward and hurry along with the ride. Luckily, they didn't finish up or get anything in my car and I'm pretty sure they didn't know that I saw what was going on. Pretty strange. But hey, I like to consider myself a bro. An Uber driver went nuts and shot a bunch of people close to where I live. Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm a Lyft driver and I'm pretty sure I drove some guys to buy drugs once. Also at least one was high. Fun times.
I'm a Lyft driver, and I did drive two college students across campus, it was raining, got a lot of rides that day, to pick up a lighter. While they were there, they discussed the benefits of getting a large amount of pot and then selling some of it. I hope I'm not too late to the party. Female driver here. One Friday night I picked up a law student after last call in West Hollywood, he was pretty drunk and wanted to go to UCLA. No biggie. He gets a call from his wasted friend and has me stop the car so he can try to figure out if we have to turn around to grab his friend. Again, no biggie, I've got the clock running. Friend doesn't need a ride, we head off. He starts talking about how he is a good night and he really needed this after his bad week. He broke up with his bae on Wednesday and pissed on her apartment stoop when she wouldn't call him a cab. And then Thursday night he talked himself out of a DUI so he was riding with Lyft Friday to avoid getting pulled over again. This guy was classic UCLA law bro. I try to lightheartedly tell him that that's two of three karmic strikes and he should keep his head down for a while, he laughs and agrees. We finally get to his places and he starts going with, man, you're so pretty. You look nothing like my ex, maybe that's why you're so pretty. And I see him pucker his lips while grabbing my shit to move up towards the front. Biggie small sized biggie. Get the duck out of my car, I've got mace up here. Dude freezes and drunkenly rolls out of my car. I'd call that strike 3. Thanks for listening to another episode of Redditex. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.